Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome. My name is Christina Marie from Beauty on My Bee. I do do beauty reviews, tutorials, unboxings, spoilers, and giveaways. Today we are going to talk about my product empties bin for the month of March. When I get about 10 items in there, I love to jump on, say basically what I repurchase, would I not? So that's what we're doing in today's video. Every month I do do an eyeshadow palette giveaway for the month of March. It is the ColourPop Lush Life Palette. Looks like this on the inside. I love how versatile it is. This is mine. I do have a brand new one for you. Look in the description box down below under current giveaways. It talks about how to enter this one, as well as my many other giveaways that I've got going on. Giveaways are really easy. Be subscribed to the channel and watch the videos in their entirety. Now, as far as what is on my eyes today, it is the Nomad Venice Simply Un Express Palette. And I mean, they kind of did these shades kind of right in, right in here. So how are you guys doing? Let me know all that in the comments down below. I love chatting back and forth with you guys. So it's gonna be really quick, really easy. What I repurchase, there are products in here that I will repurchase. There are products in here that I won't. Some of them I have used up. Some of them I decided you're not working for me. If you're not working for me, there's no sense keeping you around. So they had to go product that I absolutely love, that I have already repurchased, that I'm planning to repurchase again, um, is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is absolutely amazing for my skin tone. I do have more of a the drier skin tone, but for me to put this on in the mornings, um, this sits so well underneath my makeup. Absolutely love it. A product that was so-so. Um, it did blur out of the pores, but it kind of made my face a little greasy, is the Touch and Sew No Pore Blum Primer. So since because it made it a little greasy, I think there's other primers out there that I like better, so I probably won't be repurchasing this one. You know, a product that I loved is from Arrow. It is their Boost. And... There's, you can kind of guess it. There's like hardly anything left here. It is a lip balm, but the lip balm changed, changed colors based on your pH, and it looked amazing on me, and it was so hydrating on the lips. Absolutely love this. product that I won't purchase, you can't get it anymore, is the uh, Becca Cosmetics. This was their Hydro um setting powder this is the one that felt wet when you first put it on but it dried out pretty quick and so then it lost kind of that wet feeling because like i said i have such dry skin i hardly ever use setting powders so that's why as soon as i was done with this I had to go Another one that did not work for me, the Madra Organic Skin Care. It is their Smart Anti-Pollution Charcoal and Mud Mask. Guys, this dried out my skin so, so, so much. Um, that's why it had to go. A product that I liked, but be very careful on it because it turns very, very quickly, is the Vichy Lift Active, their vitamin C. I did really like it. I kept it in a drawer so it wasn't exposed to sunlight, but it still turned really quick on me. I did like the Ciate London Conditioning Lip Oil. Um, the only thing about it was that it was a little sticky, so I probably wouldn't purchase another one of these. I did really like from Sol de Janeiro, the Coca Cabana Cream. Some people say it tastes like popcorn. Other people say it tastes like cake mix. It just feels really smooth on my hands, so I love it. Product that did not work out for me is the Yensa BC Foundation, their BB Plus CC Full Coverage Foundation. It just, it looked cakey on the skin and it was just, I tried mixing it and with either an oil or a moisturizer and 
nothing was working, so it had to go. Another one that didn't really work out for me was the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick. I don't do liquid lips that often, and there's what it kind of looks like. It was just very, very drying on my lips. So I had a lot of misses in here. You know, I had a couple really good ones, but there were also a lot of misses as well. So I love just coming on, you know, letting you know what I think, you know, hopefully we can save each other a little bit of money. Some of these products may work great for you and that's totally fine. Everybody has a different taste and a different skin tone. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. We're such a fun laid back group here. If you can do me a favor, hit that bell button, mark it to all. And if you are watching on a mobile device, go into your settings and mark those. I want you guys to know when I upload, definitely want you guys to know when I do giveaways, which are a lot here on this channel. You can follow me over on Instagram. The handle is beauty on my AMA, followed by the letter B. You can follow me on Twitter. It's that same beauty on my B, followed by the number one. If you like this video, give it a big like. YouTube will now go ahead and insert another video for you. If you have the time, I'd greatly appreciate you checking it out. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another, and I will see you soon. Bye.